All right, guys, so imagine having your own Jarvis inside Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm talking about like a smart personal assistant that understands your footage. Well, now you do. Adobe's new media intelligence feature brings AI-powered natural language search directly into your workflow. No more scrubbing, no more guessing, just smart, intuitive editing. So let's dive into how it works. First, go up to the Preferences menu and click on Media Analysis and Transcription on the left side. Now make sure that this box is checked. This tells Premiere to scan your video clips for things like objects, people, and camera angles so it knows what's in your footage. Next, check the box that says Automatically Transcribe Clips. This will make Premiere Pro automatically create text transcripts of any spoken words in your videos, which is super useful for searching later. You can leave the transcription preference on auto transcribe for all imported clips to keep it simple. And if your video has more than one person talking, you can turn on speaker labeling to help separate the voices. And at the bottom, you can choose your default language like English to let Premiere try to detect it automatically. Now that that's all set, just click OK and that's it. Now, once we drag our clips and assets into the project panel, Premiere Pro will start analyzing your footage in the background and get everything ready for AI powered searching. Look up at the top of your screen and click the little magnifying glass icon. That's the shortcut to open up the new search panel. If you don't see it, you can also go to the top menu and click window, then search. The panel is where the magic happens. It's where you'll type what you're looking for and let Premiere Pro find the right clips for you instantly. In the search panel, you'll see a drop down that lets you choose what type of content you want to search for. Let's break them down. Everything, this is the default. It searches across all categories, visuals, spoken words, and metadata. Visuals, this searches the actual content of your footage. So if you type something like red car or snow, Premiere will find clips that visually match that description. Text, this searches the transcript. So if someone in your video says a specific word or phrase, you can type it here and find that exact moment. It's super useful for interviews or dialogue. Metadata, this searches the info behind your clips, like file names, camera types, resolutions, and any tags or comments that you've added. So depending on what you're looking for, you can narrow it down with these filters or just leave it on everything to keep it simple. All right, let's see media intelligence in action now. In the search panel, I'm gonna type byte and boom, Premiere Pro instantly finds all the clips that actually show a byte, even if the word was never said or tagged. Now let's try ocean. Again, we get clips of waves and water scenes. How about something more specific like red dress? As you can see, Premiere Pro finds the shots where someone is wearing a red dress without me having to scrub through the timeline. And here's where it gets really cool, guys. I dropped in a long YouTube video that's basically one big file with tons of different scenes inside. I searched for bus and media intelligence actually scans the entire video and pulls up just the moment with the bus in it. So even if your footage is one long clip, Premiere can still break it down and help you find exactly what you need. No tagging, no manual sorting, you just type and go. Now I'm going to drag in a few clips into the timeline, including one that has a red car in it. This automatically creates a new sequence for me. So now I've got a basic timeline to work with. Let's fast forward a bit now. Imagine I've been editing for a while and now I wanna find that red car shot again. Instead of scrubbing through the timeline, I just type red car in the search panel. Then I'm gonna switch the filter to sequence. And just like that, Premiere finds the exact moment in my timeline where that red car appears. I click it and boom, it jumps right to that spot. No hunting and no guessing. So guys, this is insanely helpful when you're working on longer edits or projects with lots of layers. Metadata is basically information about your clips like resolution, frame rate, codec, camera settings, or even labels and comments. For example, I've got a clip here that was shot in S-Log. If I search S-Log and switch the filter to metadata, Premiere Pro pulls it up instantly because it's reading the technical info behind the scenes. This can be super handy when you're working with footage from different cameras or formats and you need to find something specific. Now, let's talk about text search, which is where things really get powerful. I've got a full YouTube video imported here. Premiere Pro has already transcribed it in the background thanks to media intelligence. Now I can search for literally anything that someone says. I'm going to type about to give it up. And there it is, Premiere Pro jumps straight to the moment in the video where that line is spoken. No need to listen to the whole video 
This is absolutely game changing for interviews, blogs, and long form content. And that's it. You now know how to use your very own AI editing assistant right inside Premiere Pro. To make your workflow even smoother, we've also included our very own Premiere Pro file management template just for you guys. It literally keeps all your assets organized and clearly labeled folders right inside the project panel so you can stay focused on creating and not searching. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.